Elon Musk, folks. He has purchased Twitter.com. Let's read what Fox Business has to say. I love Fox Business. They give us the business perspective on uh, on things. You know, it's Fox Business. This is where the real, uh, you know, this is where the stock investors are looking. This is, you know, where the small business owners. You know, what are the, what do these people think about Elon Musk? So anyway, here's the headline for you. Elon Musk fires Twitter's top brass after closing 44 billion deal reports. So I covered this a little bit yesterday, but uh, you know it's more in the news again. So I figured I'd, I'd say a couple other things uh, on this subject. Uh, but once again, let me reiterate myself from yesterday. Um, there are two reasons, two reasons, and only two reasons, not more than two reasons, not less than two reasons, why a billionaire would want to purchase a social media company. Elon Musk claims to be the richest person in the world. I dispute that claim. Um, but what do other richest people in the world have? What do people like Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, etc.? What do these people have? Well, they have access to more social media data. And so there are two things why uh, a billionaire would, would purchase a social media company. One, to have a platform to say whatever they want. To say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want, say whatever they want, stupid fucking garbage. And anyone and everyone has to listen to them because they have a social media platform. That's number one. Number two uh, is social media user data. Now again, Twitter keeps uh, extensive records on everything you ever do on the website. Um, if you've had your account for 10 plus years, what you could do is go into the options and what you can do is download an archive. At least I'm not sure if this is still a feature or was before. Download an archive of all of your tweets, right? And so what? That means yes, of course, all of your tweets are archived. And uh, not only that, but they archive your search history. They archive what tweets you click on, like when you're scrolling through your timeline. When you are scrolling through your phone application, it will track what causes you to stop scrolling. So if you're reading it, if you're scrolling through your timeline on Twitter, on the uh, Twitter app on, on your phone, and you stop to read a tweet on the timeline, even if you don't click on it, Twitter knows uh, that you stopped on these tweets. And, uh, you know, again, so they have extensive user records. Um, and so that's a lot of data. And so Elon Musk purchasing Twitter, now that means he knows what I was searching on Twitter in 2009. That's some fucked up shit. But guess what? A lot of people go like, oh, I'll just delete my account. <sighs> you think that actually means anything? If you delete your account, guess what? They still have all the data. So this is the world we live in. At any point, a billionaire can uh, buy any company and access what we were searching on Google, Facebook, a Twitter, whatever, when we were 15 years old. And uh, personally, I don't think that's good for anybody. Uh, but either way, let's see what, uh, what Fox Business has to say here. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has fired several top Twitter executives after officially taking control of the company. Thursday evening. A source with knowledge of the matter told Fox Business that Twitter CEO Parag Agrawal, CFO Ned Segal, and Vijaya Gade, head of legal policy, trust, and safety, were fired. Musk had fired? I mean, like, were they fired? Like, were they really fired? Do we have to use this language? I mean, they were fired. Like, I'm sure all of them knew that they would be leaving after Elon. I mean, Elon Musk has said he would, like, so were they really fired? I mean, like, fired to me seems like it's abrupt. You know what I mean? It makes it feel like, whoa, you got fired, you know? But, like, they knew that this was happening. They knew that this was their last day. So it's like, okay. Uh, well, actually, they thought their last day would be four or five months ago or six months ago, and Elon Musk took fucking forever. So as far as I'm convinced, like, I mean, fired is not really the word here. Musk had accused the three of misleading him and investors over the number of fake accounts on the platform. Now, again, uh, that's wrong. Like, that's just a lie. Uh, and this is something, you know, that needs to really be understood about this, this quote-unquote high-profile legal battle is it's not a high-profile legal battle. Elon Musk, what he wants to do is he wants to build a mythology, right? This is what, this is the, the area that billionaires are in is mythology making, right? Jeff Bezos builds a mythology around himself. Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, these billionaires love to build a mythology around them, but no one, and I'm going to say this, and you can view this as, 
as whatever you want. No one comes even anywhere close to how Elon, Elon Musk has constructed his own mythology. Again, people, like if you go out there and ask who founded Tesla, people are really going to say Elon Musk. That's not true. That's factually not true. Um, Elon Musk bought Tesla from its founders and then started retroactively lying about him starting and founding Tesla. He did not found Tesla. What he did was he bought it and then did like a second founding after he got all their technology. And then now he calls himself a founder. It's just a straight up lie. He lies about his involvement with PayPal. He lies about his involvement with SpaceX and how deeply involved he is in the research in SpaceX. Literally all he does is pay smart people to do things for him. And then he takes credit for it. That's it. Oh, Starlink. Wow, the genius. Elon Musk. You think Elon Musk was sitting down at the fucking table and fucking like, or at the computer and coding up the Starlink? He doesn't, he wasn't doing that. He was in a building, like a fucking meeting room and fucking eating Cheetos and was like, what if we had like, you know, like satellite internet, man? And then he paid people a bunch of money to do that for him, okay? Like this idea that billionaires are like somehow smart or something. Like at least Mark Zuckerberg, like, it, like at least he had, like he had some ability to make a fucking shitty ass website site at least at the very minimum elon musk is not nearly that talented he's just you know you can argue about this but you know he's a very charismatic myth maker that's what he is i don't know why the website just reloaded uh but that's what he is i mean like full stop so the reason why he engaged in this prolonged legal fight is again to build the myth that he was going in there and the liberal fucking the woke libs at Twitter were lying to him, and he went in there, and he exposed the lies, and he kicked those libtard wokes to the curb. Like, that, that's not true. Like, he just lied. He made up some bullshit. Like, Twitter is like, yeah, it's probably about, like, 5%. He's like, well, it's closer to 10%. <laughs> right? And then they just fought about it. There was no evidence from either side. And that, it, like, again, nothing actually happened. But I guarantee you, 10 years from now, if Twitter's still a thing in 10 years, I guarantee you motherfuckers are going to run, be running around here saying that Elon Musk, maybe, maybe people will be saying Elon Musk is the founder of Twitter. Maybe. It's possible. He might do a second founding like he did with Tesla. But again, you know, like, it's just like, the, it's all about the mythology. That's all they want to do is they want to construct this like this aura around them that's that's completely fake. It's made up. They just construct it like based on like how they manipulate the news media to cover them, and that's all it is. So again, you know, and I you know I'm not gonna really comment here on how Elon Musk is gonna handle the website. I heard a report that he's gonna unban everyone who's ever been banned. I'm sure that's gonna go well. Uh, does that include Donald Trump? I'm sure that's gonna go well. Um. But again, does Donald Trump want to go back to Twitter, right? Like Donald Trump has, has invested a lot of money into his own other fucking application. It would be really funny if he just threw it under the bus if he's allowed back on Twitter. That'd be funny. Um, but uh, anyway, Musk previously said he plans to cut Twitter staffing from about 7,500 to 2,000 employees and nearly 75% decrease. Twitter did not respond to Fox Business's request for comment. <sighs> I'm sorry that I'm so sneezy this morning. Something's going on in the air today. The move came after Musk closed his $44 billion deal to take over the legal battle ensued. Da, 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 da. We got a sink. Okay, there you go. What did he say? There's currently a great danger the social media will splinter into far right and far left wing echo chambers and generate more hate and divide in our society. As if, like, the far left. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, these people, these, like, fucking centrists, the far left and the far right are equally as bad. Like, really? Really? Okay. Like, it, I mean, like, it's a basic, right? Like, can you name one terrorist attack that a far leftist committed? Meanwhile, far right wingers are fucking doing terrorist attacks every day. Like, these motherfuckers are shooting up schools. They're fucking shooting up parades. They're fucking trying to, like, blow up fucking election offices. They're fucking invading the Congress. Like, these right wing motherfuckers are insane. They're insane. Now, I guarantee you, if this motherfucker were to actually genuinely answer the question I asked about left-wing terrorism, they're going to say something like, fucking, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, goddamn, the blacks are running through the streets, goddamn, like, that's probably what he's going to say. And one, there's no evidence that Black Lives Matter protesters are even left-wing. I mean, I'm telling you this, I was pretty involved with lots of protests over the last couple of years. There is no 
evidence at all in any way, shape, or form to believe that Black Lives Matter is a solely left-wing movement. I, when I was protesting, uh, you know, there's a lot of just out-and-out right-wingers that don't like police brutality, uh, you know, like conservatives. You know, again, a lot of people don't like cops killing people, right? That's just, that's not a left-wing virtue, right? That's just a virtue. Not wanting to be murdered by police is just a virtue, right? That's not a left-wing virtue. Now, again, is it possible and probable and likely, and I'm going to say yes, that most Black Lives Matter protesters were probably way left-wing. That's true, but it is not an exclusive thing. And again, you know, that's not left-wing terrorism. If something happens during a fucking goddamn political unrest, that's not terrorism, right? That's not like, but anyway, um, unless it's specifically targeted. Like, for example, if you target the Capitol with your stupid-ass fucking dumbass protest and then invade the Capitol and then try to kill police officers and then try to kill members of Congress. That sounds a lot more like a terrorist attack than throwing a garbage can through the window of a small business and moving on. I'm just saying that, right? But again, this idea that the people that are deemed as the highest intelligence in the world, the intelligentsia of the planet Earth, are like the far left and the far right are basically the same. Like, I mean, come on now. Come the fuck on now. The far right goes out there and tries to make it illegal for you to see a doctor. Can you name one time where a left-winger has wanted to advocate for legislation to make it so a minority group can't go to the doctor? Anyone? Does anyone want to present to me that example? No, of course not. Right, so again, who is promulgating the hate and division? Left-wingers are like, hey, maybe we shouldn't try to murder transgender people. Maybe we shouldn't try to restrict people's access to get an abortion if they need one. Maybe we shouldn't try uh, to, you know, throw gay people in jail for having anal sex. Maybe that maybe that shouldn't be a thing. Right-wingers are like, I want to kill the gays. I'm going to kill the transes. I want to ban condoms. I'm going to ban abortion. And I want to make you a slave if you're a woman. Right, that's what right-wingers are saying. But it's equal. It's split down the middle. The hate and division of our society is on both sides. Right, like, again, like this fucking fantasy land shit man but uh you know whatever you know i i personally don't think that much is going to change like oh musk took over twitter as if twitter was like ran really well to begin with twitter was a garbage can fucking dumpster fire website to begin with so i mean is it possible to get worse absolutely it's always possible to fucking get worse but is it possible that it gets better who knows but what is the possibility of it staying exactly the same? Very high. It's very likely that Twitter is going to stay almost identical to how it's been, uh, at least for the time coming. Uh, you know, it's possible Elon Musk might turn Twitter into like some metaverse application. Who knows, right? But, you know, we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's the big news of the day. I got it over with first because, you know, I, I feel like I said everything I needed to say yesterday, but I threw some extra shit on there anyway. Why not? Um... <laughs>